So you're thinking about working remotely in Costa Rica. Maybe you want to end up living in Costa Rica by working remotely. Or you just want to come down, maybe stay six months, a year, a year and a half, but you don't have a lot of money, so you got to work. And a lot of that's working remotely. So that's what this video is about. I think you should stay to the end. I have a few uh, tips, maybe some things to think about. Uh, this is a basic video, but it's got some good inf information in it. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency. So if you go to TravelCostaRicanow.com, fill out the four minute form, you'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. And of course, I'd appreciate a subscribe. That'd be great. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll know when uh, we put out new videos. Okay, so wait. Coffee for a second. All right, I got some good news. I got some great, great news. Almost anybody could come down here with only a computer, very little money, and stay here and work remotely. <laughs> That's the good news, man. I mean, that's really good news, but before you get excited about that, you need to watch the rest of this video because it definitely comes with some caveats and some concerns and some issues that you need to think about if you're thinking, oh my God, I have a computer, I don't got much money, and I'm going to go to Costa Rica. Hold up. So anyway, you know, before, let's say 10 years ago, working remotely basically meant you're teaching English to the Chinese <laughs> over the internet. I'm not saying there isn't, wasn't other ways, but that was just, uh, in Costa Rica, it's, it, that was the major one you heard. You also heard a little bit of uh, selling products on eBay and that kind of thing. And again, I'm sure there's other, there were other ways, even back then, but man, teaching English was big. And it's, I, I think it still is, but it, it was just, uh, it was always teaching English. Um, uh, I even knew some people back in the day that monitored bingo gambling sites. And if somebody said a bad word, they would jump on and say, uh, watch your language. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there were some ways. But now, but now, oh my God, there's a million ways. So, you know, now it's teaching English, it's selling solar panels, it's selling real estate, it's about anything. Now, some of the teaching English jobs, like I, I did a video a couple years ago with my friend Bridie who taught English and she makes $25 an hour, but she had to have her bachelor's. Now there's cheaper teaching English sites, but she, you know, so she does, she does, does good, you know, $25 an hour is, is uh, very good here. But there's a lot of those $10 an hour sites here, uh, selling solar panels, real estate, they're kind of spammy. I actually got some friends that are probably hitting up your great grandmother going, isn't it about time you considered solar panels? So there is a lot of that here. Now there's also, that's that, the $10 an hour kind of people. And then the other people are, man, they could, uh, they could do whatever, whatever it is they do, they can do it on the internet and they can do it anywhere they want and they're making big money. Maybe, you know, whatever that is, you know, a lot of people work remotely nowadays and, you know, you can make bank. And so there's a lot of uh, those people too coming here. I know because I get all these emails. All right, so, but basically there's two kind of different groups. All right, first of all, there's the group whether they're just wanting to make ten dollars an hour or they make bank they have no intentions of living in costa rica long term maybe they maybe they know about costa rica maybe they don't maybe they heard about it maybe they ran to one of my videos and said wow that's a beautiful country i'd like to check it out and i can work remotely so there's that those people they're they're on a constant honeymoon <laughs> you know what i mean so they're here they're coming down for maybe uh adventures uh, new experiences, um, maybe to party, maybe to explore, and they're usually they're usually talking. Uh, at least the people that talk to me is usually around a year to two year periods of time, you know. And they and they usually kind of go all around Costa Rica, you know what I mean? They're trying all kinds of different places out, but they have no intentions of living here long term. So there's that group of people, and I actually love that group of people. I mean, that's like. Hey man, how how great is that life? You know what I mean? Just go from place to place in the world and do your thing. I I, I get a that's a cool 
cool thing. And even here with making the $10 an hour, that is definitely doable here to do that with the whole thing. It's kind of like when you used to go to Europe back in the day before you went to college, your parents would send you for a month in Europe. It's kind of that same concept. You don't get a lot of money, but you could do it. You could work remotely down here, $10 an hour, and have the greatest time ever in Costa Rica. Now, the second group of people, uh, oh, and, and what makes it easy, you know, is basically all you have to do is, is leave every three months. And that's easy. That's called perpetual tourism here. You can easily do that for a year, year and a half, two years, not a problem. I did it for like, I don't know, 12. <laughs> so uh, you can easily do that. Uh, so again, that's pretty much all you really have to do is leave every three months if you're going to do that uh, working remotely down here. Okay. So um, now the second group of people, the second group of people, now they're thinking about living here. They're thinking about uh, long term. Okay. Now, I'm not really talking to you people with with bank. You know, I mean, obviously you can kind of do what you do and, and you don't. I mean, th this video is maybe not for you, but you should probably still listen to the tips at the end. This this is for the people that you're coming down here because you, because you have a computer and you can. All right. So you, you don't you don't have your bachelor's, maybe uh, ten dollars an hour, twelve dollars sounds pretty decent in a really cool country like Costa Rica. But a couple things you need to know. The joke here is you need two million dollars to make a million dollars. And basically what that's saying is um you need, well, pretty much anywhere in the world, right? You need money to make money. So if you're coming down here with, with not much money, this place can be unforgiving and very, very hard to uh, advance yourself or advance your lot in life. You know, I do know people, I can't say that I don't know anybody doing this. I know people that don't make that much and have lived down here for quite a long time and they're kind of, they're okay with it. And you know, they, they hustle, you know, they do this, they sell the solar panels, they're hustling, hustling, hustling. I know some people, I've known, I've known older people already collecting their security, but they don't get a lot and they supplement their income by doing, you know, working remotely as far as like on the internet. So, I mean, I know all kinds of people doing this. I'm just saying if you're coming down here and it's only like a $10 hour, $12, $15, whatever that is, it can be uh, extremely difficult. So my, my tip for you is if you're going to do that um, on the side, you have to start out. I, I would say right when you get here and get acclimated, Okay, you get your little job, let's say selling real estate on the internet. You need to spend the rest of your day doing something that's that you're passionate about, that makes you want to wake up in the morning. So if you if you like to garden or you like to sew or you're a painter, you want to write a book, whatever that thing is, I would get started on it. So because maybe that's going to be a, a source of income later on and you've been working on it. You know what I mean? So you just don't want to come down here and just go, I'll make 10 bucks an hour. You you need to to work on whatever it is you really, really would like to be doing. And it can, you know, I'm not going to get into that. There's a million ways you can start your photography. You can do this or you're a planner or you give massages, whatever it is. I would say start on that ASAP on the side if you're thinking about later. Now, it, for you people uh, that go, well, well, Michael, I just want to come down there. I know I'm not going to make that much and see what happens. Well, guess what? You are not going to make it. You're not going to make it. You'll have, you might have fun. You might have fun. But trust me, if, you're not, if you don't really have some sort of direction at some point, you are going to leave Costa Rica. And I'm not saying that's bad. It's all an experience in your life. But I'm saying if you're thinking, if you're just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, oh, I'll just see what happens. Maybe I'll live down there. Maybe I won't. No, you won't. <laughs> you're not going to make it. All right. So now a few tips for all of you all that are thinking about coming down here working remotely. Number one tip is 
The first place you rent, you probably won't be there very long. The first place you rent, you probably won't be there very long. Why, why, why? Because you're probably gonna be paying too much. You're not even gonna know it till you're maybe a month or two into it and you're gonna end up leaving. Something about that first place that you rent is not gonna be up to your standards, all right? Uh, and, and, and like always, do not, do not find your place before you come down here on the internet, okay? Don't do that. I have a million videos on how to find a good rental. You are going to get gringo priced. Everybody does. So that first place, don't, don't put a lot of, it doesn't matter. You're going to end up leaving that first place, okay, for, for the most part. Um, and unless you're rich and you're looking for $1,500 a month condos and things on the beach and stuff like that, you people are probably going to have to put down deposits. But you other people that are uh, on a cheaper scale, man, don't give deposits here. You're never going to get you're never going to get it back. <laughs> no matter what they say, unless the deposit is going for your first month's rent, I wouldn't do deposits. The contracts down here don't mean shit. You know what are they going to do? What are you going to do if you leave? chase you oh come on it never happens i'm sure there'll be somebody going yeah it happened to me trust me a, a thousand times you know it's just a contract doesn't mean anything again if you're dealing with bigger numbers yes maybe but if you're dealing with 300 dollars a month you know 400 dollars a month, whatever it is they can talk all the shit they want put trust me you'll find somebody that will rent you if you have money in your hand for that first month okay uh, number two, internet speed, internet speed. This sounds, yes, everyone says, hey, I gotta make sure they have good internet speed. Everybody says that, but just because they say yes doesn't make it true, all right? Now, yeah, most of the city, if you're going around San Jose, it's not gonna be a problem. Even La Fortuna, the base of La Fortuna is great, but if you get out, out of La Fortuna, it can be issues. I would not do anything until I know for sure. I would be testing it out. I know, I've, I've got a few stories on this. I have some friends that have mo that moved in with the promise of good internet. Not true. And what do they have to do? They gotta leave again. And then that, that incurs more money that they may or may not really have. And it's an issue. So just because you're, you're talking to somebody, is there good internet speed? Just hold off on that and make sure uh, don't, you know, unless again, it just, you know, you're around San Jose. I mean, come on, internet's getting better and better, just like it is around the world, and it is here too, so most likely, but if you're gonna be trying to live off the grid here, it can be an issue, and there's nothing worse, unpack and go, man, I love where I'm at, and then you go to like, do your thing, and you can't even watch a video, <laughs> all right? Uh, number three, don't get married. <laughs> Don't get married. If you're only gonna be down here one to two years, you know, don't do anything, don't do that. Have fun, romance, do all that stuff. Don't get married, all right? I got videos about this, just trust me on this. I know, because here's the problem with this. When you're in Costa Rica and you don't know if you're gonna be down here very long, everything is fun, everything is a party, everything is the honeymoon. I think we, anybody that's gotten married knows the honeymoon doesn't last. So please don't interrupt your life and do, just don't do that, <laughs> all right? Uh, number four, do not invest with anyone, not your friend, not because, oh wow, look at that place they're building, it's an organic farm and I want a piece of that. If you don't know how long you're gonna be here, if, you, if you're uncertain with your own path in life, don't do that. Don't invest and don't buy anything. Don't, don't buy anything, maybe, maybe a car, but other than that, Okay, you can really ruin things by uh, your experience down here by getting involved in things you don't, may or may not know enough about, and they usually go south fairly fast. All right, the last one, you're gonna be a perpetual tourist. A lot of people worry about that. They read the horror stories on the internet. I've talked a lot, a lot about this as well. I was a perpetual tourist for 12 years. I got friends that still do it after 14 years. You know, it's easy to do. and and uh, so, you know, when, when everything is right and we're not in the situation we're in, you know, you go back and forth to Guatemala for $125 round trip. That's about as much as you go on a land border run, you know, for the day up to Nicaragua, going out to the bars, buying some rum and coming back. So you can head out on a plane. So 
you know, your passport can, you know, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Panama, it's very easy to be a perpetual tourist for the amount of time you want to be here. One to two years is not a problem, no matter what you read, no matter what they say, it's, it's easy, easy to do, unless they change some laws in the future, but not sure why they would do that. Uh, so that's it. That's just a base, a little base about talking, you know, for you people uh, thinking about working down in Costa Rica remotely. Uh, so just things to think about, all right? Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Hey, man, things are going to pop up in my videos. You know, if you're thinking about living or traveling down here, you should always do your homework. I got a lot of information out there. And you know what's good about mine? It's real. <laughs> all right?